What do mysterious underground people, toads wearing gold chains, dogs released from the ground, and green-skinned children all have in common? Well, they're all recorded as contemporary events in the annals of a William of Newbury, a mid to late 12th century priest and historian. Most of his histories record normal and recognized events from his era, but every so often he describes a phenomena that we would deem as supernatural. The Green Children of Wolfpit. This has mystified researchers for generations, and William is one of the few sources on the matter. In an East Anglian village, sometime during the reign of King Stephen, we are told that two green children were found wandering astonished in the fields when men were out reaping. Children, one male, one female, were also dressed in green clothes of an unknown material. They did not speak English or presumably any known language. Many people came to them to view them and they only seemed to be able to eat beans and bean pods until they gradually became used to eating uh, bread and other normal foodstuffs. Gradually they lost their green hue and reverted to a uh, normal colour, receiving baptism and learning the local language. The boy died uh, not long after uh, his baptism, but the girl survived long enough to describe her origins. She said that her and her brother had come from a place called St. Martin's Land, where the sun was never seen, though a luminous country could be seen beyond the horizon, yet was separated from them by a great river. Their country was Christian in origin and had many churches. Uh, when asked how they arrived at the village, she claimed that they had been out tending their father's flocks until they had heard a great sound unlike anything that they had uh, encountered. And whilst listening to this, they became suddenly entranced and found themselves walking in the village's field. The Quarry Dogs At an unnamed quarry, we are told that a rock uh, was split open and two living dog-like creatures were found. They were described as being like the harrier breed, yet, yet were completely hairless. They had an aggressive temperament and were foul-smelling. One soon died, but the other had a uh, ravenous appetite and was taken care of by the Bishop of Winchester. The Quarry Toad In another quarry, a double stone was found, joined by an adhesive substance. Uh, it was cracked open and a toad was found uh, within the, the rock, wearing a small golden chain around its neck. Uh, the local bishop found out about this and ordered that the stone be closed up, presumably with the toad put back inside, and thrown back into the rubbish heap. The Underground People It was reported from the village of Gypsy that a certain rustic was returning home at night from visiting a neighbour, himself being uh, slightly intoxicated by then. He then heard singing coming from a nearby hillock. He investigated this and found an open door on the hillside, and looking in he saw men and women seated in a spacious house-like structure having a banquet. Seeing him uh, standing at the door, he was invited in and offered a cup. Accepting this, he chose not to drink, pouring out the contents onto the ground. He took the cup and then departed, and the people, seeing that he had left with the, the cup, pursued him. He managed to escape back to his village and told others of this and presented the stolen cup to them. It was made of an unknown material and was unusual in both colour and shape. The cup was eventually offered to King Henry the Elder and then passed over to his Queen's brother, King David of Scotland. It was then passed from Scotland to King Henry II after he had inquired to see it. <laughs>